Hello, this is Overlord Bo back with SAT score, and today we'll be doing a video on the recommended ranked season seven ships. So on how we're gonna be doing this, we'll be going over each class, and for each class, we'll have ships in the order of the following. We'll have it where the ships you can no longer get anymore, and then we'll have the ships that you can still buy or get with resources, and then we'll have the tech tree uh ships you can get. So pretty much you'll have an option for for each or depending upon which ships you have or don't have. So let's get started. So for the first ship, for we're gonna be going over CVs first. The first ship would be the Kaga. The Kaga is really good if it's a BB heavy kind of ranked season. So if you see a lot of BBs out, the Kaga is a good option for that. Uh, the Chakalov um, is very versatile with its uh, uh, torpedo bombers, uh, skip bombers and then the bomber is very versatile at that so it's a good option for cvs uh the lexington and the shikaku are the good tech tree uh ships if you do not have any premiums or the kaga so very good options now the shikaku is the least uh due to the fact that it mostly relies on its good uh torpedoes to be really effective so i'd recommend the lexington more than the shikaku for ranked in particular but if it's more of like a bb heavy a uh, day for ranked then the shikaku would be a good option if you're looking for uh, a cv now for the battleships the first one that i would recommend uh would be where are you hiding at mr musashi where are you yep it's going to be the musashi is going to be uh the first pick if you have the musashi it has a very high hp pool very strong guns that can overmatch everything from tier 9 and tier 10 and even below just pretty much can overpin everything as long as it has a 32 millimeter bow and below uh very high hp pool has a very small superstructure uh very tanky very great option for the rank season currently uh the next tier 9 i would recommend would be the georgia a very strong ship as well very quick you can also build into secondaries if you'd like very strong guns, good heal, good maneuverability. Also has a uh, decent anti as well. So very good in that regard as well. Uh, now for the ships you can get currently, the Palmern is also a good option. It seems like a lot of people are bringing a lot of secondary ships this season. So the Palmern is a very good pick uh, in that regard. Strong secondaries, good guns, also has torpedo tubes, uh, just in case you need to do like a drive-by so you can kind of nuke them with those. The Warp Perk is a good option in the season as well, since it's a very strong secondary ship. Now, it's not as tanky as uh, Palmer. It does have less armor. Um, I've been seeing that a lot of people try to play this thing as the same as a Schlieffen, but the Schlieffen does have more armor, so it kind of does a little bit worse of a job compared to a Schlieffen, so you have to be careful on what kind of targets you're rushing if you're going to take the Rupert. I've seen people also take Iowa's, um into ranked as well i'm gonna put that recommendation in as an iowa i've seen some people bring in iowas uh they're the good versatile battleship uh for uh this ranked season now with the battleships out of the way um i'm going to switch over to the cruisers uh for the cruisers we're gonna start with the pretty much one of the most Pretty much, I've seen one that pretty much every single match is Alaska's. I've seen Alaska's pretty much every ranked match so far. Uh, very strong ship, great guns, good anti-air, good sonar, good good radar, good everything. Just very strong, versatile, can be close quarters, medium, long, very strong ship. Uh, if you have it, you can use it. You can uh, definitely recommend using it. Um, for another ship that you can still get and use, uh, you can get, you can use the Tulsa. It's pretty much a lower, um, pretty much people compare it to Des Moines as like a, pretty much a lower DPM Des Moines is a good way of putting it. Uh, you don't want to get super close with it because it does have only four guns on the front. So you can't play it the same as a Des Moines. You want to play a little bit more stealthy, but with its sonar in it, and radar uh, information gathering capabilities. It's definitely very strong in that regard. Very good ship indeed. Now for the tech tree, for the tech tree alternatives, the Donskoy is a very good option with the, with the sonar and it's having a 12 kilometer radar. Very good guns. 
Um, it's 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 tanky enough to be able to blow blows against another cruiser, but against battleships, you definitely want to be careful uh, in that regard. So definitely be careful of that. Um, as I said, I have a question. Would you recommend the Crunch uh, for ranked this season? Because I haven't seen a lot of people bring uh, Crunch uh, Crunch stats into this ranked season. Would you recommend the ship, or would you not recommend it this season? Generally, no. The cross stat suffers from battleship dispersion. So even though you get a 12 kilometer radar, it's you're not expected to do much damage against destroyers. That's the main that's the main problem with the cross shot. Just too unreliable with its main guns. Okay, I just wanted to double check to make sure. I just wanted to double check that. Okay, so the next ship, I don't think I have it on my list, funny enough. Um I should but apparently I don't. Uh, so the next one is going to be, yep, I sold it. So it's going to be the Buffalo. The next ship on the tech tree line that I recommend is going to be the Buffalo. Uh, has a good radar, sonar, very good information gathering capabilities, good guns, very strong ship for rank this season. Very good. I've been seeing a lot of them and they've been doing fantastic in this rank season. So definitely going to recommend that one for sure. Right, and again, the ship orders that we're doing is going it are again it's like the ones that you can't get anymore than the ones you can currently get by buying or getting with resources and then the tech tree line so just want to make sure i explain that so if you guys get used at all um just making sure you guys understand that now for the final list uh it's going to be the dds now we're going to have the new shishimi you can you can technically speaking you can still get the new shishimi um, it's very, it has a very nice super heal. Guns are uh, okay-ish good as well, since you only have four. Good torpedo tubes, has a smoke. Uh, very nice in that regard. I've been seeing a few of these playing around. They do very well. Um, I also been seeing a lot of Frieslands being played. Grodigans, Frieslands and Grodigans are the exact same ship. They also, you're also able to make a lot of credits uh, with this as well. So definitely for ranked. Um, you can make a lot of credits using this ship in particular. I've been seeing a few wild ZF-6s um, in the mix. Would you recommend the ZF-6 this season SAT score if they are, if they do have, have the ZF-6? The ZF-6 is actually solid this season. Her main gimmick is the main, re main battery reload booster. So once you run into a destroyer, activate your gimmick and then AP the poor destroyer down. You can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. So played correctly, ZF-6 can be extremely threatening to other destroyers. Yep. So I've also seen some, I've seen a lot of Benhams as well. Um, you do have to be careful though, because a lot of the season, uh, a lot of gunboats are being used and a lot of radar ships. So you can use the Benham if you'd like, because it is extremely just a devastating ship for torpedoes. You can just rain torpedoes down over and over and over again and pretty much just force a whole flank to be worried about you pretty much so if you're if you have a benham and want to use it um i would recommend it for just being a torpedo demon i've seen people using chong muse for radar and an orkin for radar uh you if you want to use the radar advantage you can but with the other ships i'm going to be recommending it's probably not the best idea so i'm just going to be throwing that out there uh one ship that is not on this i don't have in port is the black uh the black is a very strong uh radar dd very good guns good torps uh they're just pretty they're just very slow they're like landmines but the reason why it's not well it's because they're supposed to be bringing it back but they haven't yet but it should be coming out sometime this year from uh how they've been changing the ship giving it a nerf and such because they did promise they'd be bringing it back so we're going to be running for that. But again, I'd recommend uh, those ships there. Now, the next ship is going to be the Mogador. We're going to do the Tech Tree Line. So the Mogador, very strong gunboat for this season. Very maneuverable. Um, Has torpedo tubes along the sides. Uh, five for each side. So if you're trying to uh, rush into a battleship and try to nuke them, you can if you get the both sides off. Very good guns. Has the reload booster. Hassles has the French saturation, which is very strong on the french dds highly recommend this ship uh for the tech tree if you're just using tech tree ships for uh rank the next option i don't 
currently have bought, but I do, but I have research for the research bureau is the Kit 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 Kat. Um, the Kit Kat's a very yeah, Kit Kazi. Yes, it's a very strong, uh, tier nine gunboat. Very very strong guns, good torps. Uh, has a reload booster for torpedoes if you're trying to get that um extra load off if you need it. Very very strong for this season. Uh, a next option as well would be the Jutland. I don't have that ship either so I do apologize I need to get more research done but the Jutland's a very strong tier 9 DD very versatile good cap control with its three kilometer hydro very strong to deal with that and having a heal as well um is there any other tech trees you'd recommend what about the the German tier 9 would you recommend that one the, the Z46 yes the Z46 yes Z46 is workable, but not enough to be recommended. We've recommended about five or six destroyers. So putting yes. ZF, Z46 is like it could work, but I wouldn't put it in the recommended list. Okay. Now I am going to add one more battleship while thinking about it. I think the FDG is, is a very tanky battleship. So I would recommend that because of the, a lot of the, there's been a lot of secondary battleships this season and just it having that tankiness and having strong secondaries. I could see it being a very versatile battleship. The same with like the Soyuz, just the tankiness. You, usually you want to have a lot of tanky battleships this season and the Soyuz and the FTG could be viable options if you don't have um a lot of uh, a lot of the premiums because at tier nine and eight we all are aware of how many rare ships there are and so it could be a feel kind of overwhelming having to fight those ships that you can't really get access to anymore so those were just our recommendations for this ranked season but yeah is there anything else you'd like to add sat score well Despite the ship recommendations, the most important part about ranking out is still player skill. Because even the worst player, if you give a bad player a good ship, he will still lose against a good player with a quote-unquote bad ship. It's, uh, so always make sure that you abuse your ship's strength as much as possible. Because e even with, uh, you can win without even the recommended ships on this list. Yep, but that will be it. Thank you so much for your time today, SA2 score. We greatly appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or concerns, definitely let us know in the comments down below. But this is Overlord Belt, and I'll talk to y'all later. Oh, big stretch, dude. Oh, big stretch, yeah.